Hi, I'm Tammy with Santa Fe Archery and this is Haley. And recently we've had a lot of um, women come in that have been interested in archery, but they've been intimidated by getting set up for the bow and everything. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna kinda go through how you get set up with a bow with Haley. The first thing that we usually do when someone comes in is we get their measurements and the way we do this is just by having them take this. You're gonna put this in the corner of your mouth. You're gonna hold that up. And Haley's actually a 27 inch draw. So we'll get a bow ready that she can shoot at 27 inches. So another thing that we do when people come in is we try to find out if they're left eye or right eye dominant. Um, it depends on which hand that you'll shoot with as to which eye is your dominant eye. Um, some people don't know that. I'm right handed, but I shoot a left handed bow because I'm left eye dominant. So what we do is you're just gonna put your hands up to where you're looking at that deer, keep both eyes open, and then you'll just pull your hands back to your face and you pull it back to your right eye. So she would be considered right eye dominant, which is good because she's right-handed, so she'll shoot a right-handed bow. So we got Haley measured as a 27 inch draw. So we went ahead and got this Mission Cray set up at 27 inches so that it's perfect for her. Um, we didn't get any kind of weight set because we usually don't tell the people the weight because then they get intimidated by a number. So all we wanna do is see if she can draw it back. So this is the safety release. It's made so that you can't pull the trigger and release the bow and dry fire it. You'll put that on. And if you're shooting a right-handed bow, it'll go on your right hand. That'll be the hand that you draw back with. The bow actually will go on your left hand. Okay, so what she's gonna do is she's just gonna um, take the release and put it underneath the little brass knock on here. See if she can draw it back. So what you'll, what you'll do is you'll have your feet at a 90 degree angle. You'll just push the bow out and pull this hand back. Put a little bit of bend in that arm. And she's good at 27 inches, so that's the right fit for her. Now she can just choose her accessories and what she wants to do with it. Most of the bow manufacturers actually make it appealing to female archers by doing the different colors and different patterns of bows. Um, you can change your string color to match, your arrows can match. Um, it can basically be customized the way that you want it to be. Have different color wristlings. And here at Santa Fe Archery, we have a large selection of bows for female archers. So this is the actual release that's gonna let the trigger go. We're gonna have Haley put that on. She's gonna actually shoot an arrow now so she can see how easy it is. Same way as the other release, except now this one actually has a trigger that you can pull. So it's gonna, well, first things first, you gotta put an arrow in it. Oh, sure. Dry fire your bow. Pink feather out, cause that's your lead feather. It just gets clipped onto the bottom there. And then the same way with the safety release, you're just gonna draw back. And on this one, you don't have sights or anything, so it's gonna be hard to aim. So just draw back and aim kinda low. Pick your shoulder up a little bit, there you go. Lower, there you go. That wasn't that hard. With just a few shots, it's something that's not that hard to do. With a little bit of practice, she could be hitting at 20 yards. There'd be nothing to it. It's not nearly as intimidating as everybody thinks it is. So this is Tammy with Santa Fe Archery and I wanna say thanks to Haley for coming down and helping us show women that archery isn't hard to get into. It's something that's not very intimidating and keep these tips in mind and we'll have you pumping blood.